All right, guys, so Bill Cabins just did a video where he got a tip that Mike Ray was stalking CJ and got some uh, clips in his video. Let's just play a little part of that now, and uh, then we'll jump into the analysis on the images. Mike sees CJ. I don't know if CJ sees him, but this is why y'all need to be careful. You know, all this is the same guy that said that he was going to kill CJ, rob CJ. He's actually in Texas in the mall stalking cj all right guys if this is true this shit is absolutely crazy uh this is beyond stalkerish we're gonna go to watch frame by frame.com grab some still images and then put them through photo to maybe unblur them a little bit and add a better resolution see if we can see if this is definitely mike all right so i got some images here you can see some of them are right some of them not so much but I think the very last image is probably the best. Look, I'm not going to bore you by going through this thing like I did, watching frame by frame, speeding it up to a few frames, slowing it down by one frame. It's boring as fuck. But what I am going to do is just jump into photo.com. It's my favorite imaging tool. No, it's not a sponsor. It's not an affiliate. I don't get anything for referring you. It's just a really good tool that I like. We're going to see what we can do with these images. All right, guys, like I said, this is my absolute favorite tool. It's Fotor, F-O-T-O-R.com. And I put in the first image. Let's see what we can do with the face on blur. Now, the face on blur tool is not perfect. Sometimes it gives you some features that you don't have, uh, but it's a, the, a good first step. All right, that's not bad. I mean, that you know, it, it kind of shades in the beard a little bit, but that's uh, that's not too bad. Let's do the next image. All right, let's see what we can do with this one. Face on blur. There's a lot of different features here. AI replace, uh, old photo restorer, filters, skin retouch. Now that's a much better picture right there. You see, you get the ski mask. And I was thinking actually that's the beard, but this is the ski mask that goes under it a little bit. So that's uh, those eyes too. That definitely looks like Mike Ray to me. I mean, you let me know in the comments if you think I'm wrong, but uh, that looks like Mike Ray. Let's do the next one. All right, this is definitely a little blurry here. Let's do face on blur again. All right, that unblur just smoothed it out way too much. How about we turn that off and do one tap and hand, see what that does. All right, made a little lighter. I mean, it looks like him. I'm not 100% sure, but it does look like him. Let's do the final one. All right, to me, that definitely looks like him. You know, we have a tool here called AI Enlarger. I'll show you what that does. So we basically got the uh, upscale to noise and enhance your image in seconds. So this was the before, what it looks like now. This is the after. I guess that's a little bit of improvement there, less blur. But yeah, we'll we'll apply that. We'll try the face on blur. It's not that blurry, but we'll try it. Oh, well, that makes him look really young and uh, not quite him. But you know, again, the face on blur tool is not perfect. Uh, it can help, but it's not perfect. Let's turn it off again. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Uh, you know, I am more than 50% sure that's him, but definitely not 100%. Bill Cabins thinks it's him. Let me know in the comments what you think.